Welcome back guys. Uh, so I had a request uh, to go through a video on how to how to install Battle.net games in uh, Puppy Linux. Now in order to do that uh, the way that I do it is through Play on Linux. In order to run Play on Linux in Puppy you need to do t a couple of things. First of all I'm going to open my my flash drive with all of my puppy files. Now, as you can see in this folder, I have play. You need three 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 files. Write these down, and then search on the internet. You'll be able to locate them. You need play on Linux dash four point two point one zero dot pet. The next one you need is Python dash 2.6.4 plus wx dot pet and you need pol stands for play on linux po capital pol dash 009 dot pet now we're going to install those one at a time first i'm going to install python and that has been installed. Then I'm going to install Play on Linux and actually I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, number two would be Wine so make sure you install Wine. Wine-1.8 pet. These files are all available on the internet. I have, uh, that's where I got them. So if you do a search for the file name, you should have no problem at all. I'm just going to check for wine. Okay, so and now once now that wine is installed, we're going to install play on Linux. And then we're going to install POL-009. And as you can see, they, they install very quickly. Now, Play on Linux should be installed under Fun, and it is. So I am going to click on, I'm going to close this folder out. That is my flash drive. And as I said, as you download these files, save them to a flash drive because you never know if you're going to have to reconstruct your, your install. So I'm going to click on Play on Linux and I'm going to click I usually click No because I don't want to send any information to them. Now you're going to see a screen open up and what you're going to do is click on Install. Now it's going to take a minute for Play on Linux to go through the updates it's going to pull in the latest uh, list of games and packages that are available. Um, it looks like that's done. And so what we're going to do is type in, I'm going to type in Hearthstone because that's the uh, game that I play on uh, Battle.net and that's listed so I'm gonna highlight that and click on install now it says it's in testing so it might not work as expected so but we're gonna go through the exercise okay so click on next click on next those are just informational boxes now it's saying this the script is not valid but uh, for some reason I get that error message with puppy um, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click I agree and go ahead then click next and it's gonna go through and 
<clears throat> download all the files that it needs in order to get that installed. It goes through uh, multiple files. Uh, it shouldn't take long. My connection here is pretty fast. So it shouldn't take long. And as I said, while we're waiting, make sure when you uh, when you install 602 that you go through those quick updates. You can see I'm at service pack level 605. That's important. You want to get up to the latest. And now QuickPet has access to all kinds of easy access to all kinds of uh, programs. So now it's downloading Wine Mono. And as I said, it's going to go through um, and download all of the files that it needs in order to start loading up Battle.net. Once, now even though I installed Hearthstone, once Battle.net is installed, um, then you can go ahead and install StarCraft or World of Warcraft, and it should play fine. Guys, I'm going to pause the video because it looks like I might be stuck on this particular file, 51.2 megabytes. It looks like it's all downloaded, but it's not quite finishing. So I'm going to pause the video and see if I can get that resolved. Be right back with you. Okay, guys. So I, as you can see, I'm, I'm installing uh, Battle.net. What there was a conflict with the camera and so it wouldn't allow me to finish the install so I'm doing it without uh, GUVC view so when you need to select a location for that battle net install you're gonna click on change and then you're gonna you're gonna go into your uh, files it'll bring up a little file window you wanna click on my applications and then BIN and you're gonna store the files in there so it's my applications and then bin and that's where you see I have Battle.net so it's you're gonna change the location of the install okay so I'm gonna pause this to sign in Okay guys, I'm back. Now as you can see, it's asking me for the location again. So I'm gonna click on change and I'm gonna to go to my applications and then bin. And then Battle.net. Click OK. And then start install. Now it just says we couldn't find any Blizzard games on your system. So you're going to close that out. And now you, we need to wait for this to finish downloading. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back as soon as this is done. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, and as I mentioned, I'm not able to put up the uh, GUVC view, but I'll try to get through the remainder of the video just with simple screen recorder. Now, uh, so Battle.net uh, finished installing and right now it is ready to play. So I'm going to click on play and see what we have. Okay, so there is the game coming up. And everything seems to be going fine. No problems at all. Now, uh, just a word of advice. If your install freezes, just close it out and start again. Go through the process again. Um, I did this on a few different computers. And one of the computers, I actually it froze up twice. It finally finished on the last install. So don't give up and uh, you'll be rewarded with the uh, finished uh, successful result. Now, as I mentioned, you can uh, download Heroes of the Storm, StarCraft, World of Warcraft, 
once you have those installed, uh, Hearthstone installed, it's just a matter of installing the others that you want. And you do that in the exact same way. So guys, that is it for this uh, Hearthstone uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the uh, comment section and I'll uh, try to get back to you. Thanks for stopping by. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Take care.